What is going on, my fit fam? So, sorry about no video yesterday. Your boy straight up just, I had a moment of weakness. Your boy just wanted to, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest as hell with you guys right now. I just spent all day yesterday playing Pal World. <laughs> like, I know it sounds so ridiculous, dude, but god damn, like, so every once, this happens like usually once or once, one to two times a month, uh, every, sorry, let me rephrase that. This happens every one to two months where I'll, not that I was just like working super hard. It's the fact that we're entering a bulk and so much new stuff's going on. It's a busy week. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff in comparison, but where I just have a day where I just go, I don't want to do fucking shit, which is not okay. It's not an okay thing to do to just skip the workout, but your boy had a moment of weakness and <laughs> like it's it's usually always going to be on like a Saturday. Sunday, I'm never in that mindset. It's always on a Saturday. You know, most other days of the week, I'm usually going and it's usually because I got a good routine and stuff going, but Saturday is where I have my routine kind of off. Sunday, I have a good routine still. Um, I'm still in that mindset of like trying to give myself like the weekends off and guys, Listen, I, not to say that self-love isn't important, but like you, that is a bunch of horse shit. Like you do not need to take weekends off, okay? I hate that saying that maybe if you're working a job you hate, okay? Maybe then, and a lot of people are, so I don't blame you. But for your boy, I am very blessed with what I do. I love everything I do. And uh, all that got in the way of me doing the stuff I loved was me getting distracted by a video game. <laughs> Which you guys know how I am about video games. That's why I wanted to like try and stream for such a long time. What is this dude doing behind me? Whatever. Um, but I, I try to get streaming to kick off for such a long time because I do enjoy it and stuff like that. It's just a pretty big waste of fucking time. <laughs> Especially what I did yesterday, dude. I, I played, I put way too many fucking hours into that video game. But I do think I got it out of my system. Shouldn't have problems with it. I wanted to try and give myself a deadline of like when I can have like a ne next rest day. Uh, and by rest day, I mean like active rest day. Um, I do want to push the limits with this, guys, especially because I'm so fed. Um, you know, I, I want to see what happens. Like obviously, we, you know, we're, we're pushing the limits with like not taking re like rest days or even active recovery days and stuff like that. But... That's the point, right? I gotta see how my body reacts to it first before I tell myself, oh no, that's too dangerous. Like, no, no. I'm not someone who's gonna stop myself based off of fear. That's a really shitty thing to do. I think a lot of people do that. And you you stop yourself from seeing some of the craziest things in life if you do that, right? So push the limits. You gotta test your theories, right? That's what we're doing. We're seeing how this reacts to my body. I didn't feel like I needed the rest day. That's why I'm so upset about it. Like, I don't... Like everything feels fine. Like nothing different than, in fact, I feel better than whenever I was cutting and I was taking more rest days when I was cutting. And that's just because I'm more fed. You know, I think my testosterone is definitely up. Uh, I think it was maybe a little bit down this weekend because the sleep was definitely off. Like definitely on Friday night, I didn't get enough sleep. I didn't get enough sleep last night either. Um, but I was just too pissed off at myself to let myself skip another day. We got to get better about the sleep, dude. It's, it's something that I really am struggling with. Um, not like huge, like I still got probably like six hours, but like you guys know how it goes. Like you need sleep when you're bulk, you need it. Um, so we're just going to have to really focus down on that. I need to focus on making sure I take my five HTP. Haven't really been taking that. Um, and just getting a good like nighttime ritual set up. I think that's, I got a great morning ritual. Uh, and guys, when I say that, don't think you have to do any certain thing. It's just some, it's just the routine you do to make sure like, you know what to do each morning, you know, an easy thing to follow so that you can start going through the steps to start getting you going. So that way it's not so overwhelming when you're trying to get your day started or try and get calmed down for bed, you know? So that's gonna be some stuff I wanna work on, but we're gonna have a long day in the gym today. I, I do plan on just kicking it here for a few hours until I feel like fucking leaving. <laughs> I don't have anything until like 6 p.m. tonight. It is currently almost two. Um, so we have plenty of time to get a solid fucking back workout in. So I'm gonna get inside, get warmed up, and we're gonna get after it. Alrighty, so we made it in. We're nice and warmed up. Uh, I'm gonna keep it to where we're doing like two sets of everything today. Cause I kind of like that format a little bit. Gets more done for you guys. Plus it gives me more uh, exercises to play around with. I think the behind the neck um, lap pull down is gonna be on the agenda today. I think some cable rows of some variation are gonna be on the agenda today. I've already done some uh, base pulls, like pretty decently heavy, like uh, for a good like five sets. So we really got that going really first, but this is like the first like uh, heavy exercise we're doing. 
and that's going to be inclined. Oh, I say inclined. It's going to be uh, one arm rows, mainly just because again, I feel like my right side's fine as far as my back goes. I feel like the left side's lacking a little bit. So <clears throat> honestly, I might do when we do cable rows. I might do one arm with that too. And we might go ahead and do like a lot lighter, higher volume, but obviously we got to start off with some heavy weight. So we're going eight on each side with this one. I'm gonna stop it on my foot. <laughs> They're not bad. I honestly could probably do a little bit more, but again, I feel like, I really feel like if I'm not careful, this bicep really likes to get involved. I was feeling that on my first set, so I think this will be plenty. <laughs> Gotta make sure my feet are squared up. Keep forgetting that because the other one i didn't have it squared up it will matter as far as like how your core is going to feel it and how your back reacts to it so just make sure they're the same i do gotta say i ate so much food this weekend on friday night i ate 5500 calories uh you guys remember you're supposed to be stopping at around 45 and uh, your boys are going a little bit crazy with it uh, again the intermittent fasting has just been a struggle. I think, I know that that's like the main thing we got to implement. I almost had it down last night too, dude. I woke up in the middle of the night, got in my zombie fucking state of mind, which is not an excuse. I still could have controlled myself, but like, you know, I'm sure you guys can relate. You wake up in the middle of the night, you're like, I don't give a fuck. I just want to eat, I want something. <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> it's very much zombie-like, uh, but the key is when you do that, get water. You're just thirsty. That's the reason you're having like a hunger response. Whew. Or use fenugreek. That's something else I've been using. All right, one more on these, and then I see a few different machines calling my, my name. Uh, so we're going to try those out. Think, oh, we might try and get some uh, reverse hypers recorded today if, if it's open over there. It looks pretty busy. I'm going to try and do it when I get the chance. It's just that area is just always really busy hard to record in, which I guess this place is too, but uh, that stuff's more around like uh, barbells and stuff, you know what I mean? So it's a lot easier for you guys to get knocked over. Uh, and again, that microphone's way too expensive for that to be happening. Uh. Starting to break out of sweat already. Ugh. Got a little bit of my stomach. I had some. And again, another part I messed up on the diet today. The track is just gonna be a little bit off, dude. I'm telling y'all, I'm just gonna have to say this. And this is gonna hurt a lot of y'all's feelings. But no matter what kind of dieting you're doing, unless you're making it at home, don't go to a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Mexican food is not it when it comes to like tracking your macros. It's like the main, it's the hardest thing to track. I keep trying to get it, keep trying to get it from these Mexican restaurants. And I'm sitting there going, how much, pro the problem is like, even if I'm bulking, how much protein am I getting in? How much calories, am I hitting enough calories? Like today, I don't even know if I'm gonna be hitting enough, you know, because I had to, I had to guesstimate the freaking calories. So no matter what you're doing, man, this Mexican food won't work. Like you can make a lot of fast food work because they, Keep up with calories and stuff. But mixing food does not. So make it at home if you're gonna make it. Really, really like me some fried rice though, I'll tell you what. Maybe on like occasions, but I'm telling y'all, like if you're serious about your goals, don't do it. it. It definitely will mess you up a little bit. Especially because I know some of you guys are probably doing it like every fucking day at lunchtime with your friends. <laughs> I know how it goes. <sighs> Yeah, dude, like, no matter if you're bulking or cutting, like, you still got to keep up with your macros. You still got to keep up with your tracking. You still got to weigh out your foods. You still got to do all that shit. Like, that doesn't change. Like, all you're doing is adding on to what you were doing. You're not taking, you're not taking away the tracking. You're adding more 
calories, adding more water, adding more protein. And really not even adding that much more protein. But I think that's where a lot of people mess up. They just want to fucking dirty bulk. And the guys, you dirty bulk, you're probably going to lose muscle because you're probably one, not going to eat enough. And two, you're probably not going to get enough protein. Three, you're probably not drinking enough water. You know, so. Four, <laughs> probably not eating good and keeping up with your digestive health. So you're probably getting a lot of inflammation and feeling like shit every time you work out and feeling like you want to throw up. I'm dealing with that. That's why I'm doing intermittent fasting right now. I'm trying to. <laughs> but I'm telling you all, like, that's the part. You can't just take that stuff out. Like, cutting and bulking are not any harder than the other. They're just different. It's like comparing a, an apple to an orange. They're both fucking hard. You just got to figure out, like, how to do each one. But they're just different. Again, you cannot compare apples to oranges. But anyways, I'm going to find me something to pop on here real quick. And keep it going. Keep it trucking. I'm actually going to go see if we have the... Uh, the um, reverse hypers open real quick. Just, I'm gonna do that in between each set I can because you never know when it's gonna be open. All right, two more sets on here. So this is the, uh, I said it was behind the neck. It's more like a lap pullover variation with free weights. It's what it feels like, at least. I really like it. The uh, squeeze on it's pretty good. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could go behind the neck, which honestly, <sighs> that wouldn't be a bad, we'll do a set like that. I'm not mad at that. I'll show y'all what I was using or what I was doing on the uh, other like five sets I did on this, on the next set. But I do want to get a set in like this. It does help me like feel my traps out with this exercise. <sighs> because like you guys know, like I already, I'm not trying to just grow my lats. My lats are more than fine. But these traps need work. <sighs> yeah, I almost feel better going in front. So this is what I was really doing. Uh, 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 one more. Uh, God, I don't even need that much weight. Like usually, I mean, I'll pop three, four plates on the lat pull down, like, you know, more lat focused lat pull down machine. But with something like this, where I'm doing a little bit more traps and where honestly, like I can really focus on my traps on this. I can feel it. Again, it feels a lot like a pullover, but uh, main thing here is like, I probably need to really focus on, obviously keeping the lats and the traps independent, but like just with these specifically, like get in more like lat activation, really focus on the middle instead of like behind my armpit. And uh, honestly, do some more unilateral stuff, like one arm at a time, because I do think that that's going to help a ton as far as balancing it all back out. but. Oh, let me get one more set in. I'm not keeping the rest very long. Like we're doing like 30 seconds, 45. We're done with the straight training for the day. One more. Dude. I didn't feel like I used my bicep just a little bit too much on that one. That's okay. That was the last one. We did. I'm telling you, I did get like five sets before we recorded that. So I think we're good with that. I see a uh, chest supported row. I kind of want to get in. So we'll get set up for those. Gotta give it to this gym. This is literally, I'm listening to funk right now in my headphones. 
They're playing funk on the radio. I, honestly, I just put these on so I can hear myself talk so I don't like fucking scream. <laughs> it does, it helps with that. But anyways, I'm just wrapping up with some basic bent over rows. The only, I didn't even really get a, like a, a set in. I got a warm up set in. Um, but I do know that we're, the volume's getting up there. Like I've got like five or six, five, we'll say five to seven sets on everything I've done so far, except for the, um, the uh, hyper extensions. But I did, you know, like four sets of those. And I did something off camera too two exercises off camera so I know the volumes there um, I'm just carved the fuck up that's why it doesn't feel like I'm even doing anything right now I do feel like I have a lot of energy still left um, so I don't know I might I may or may not try and go ahead and get some extra stuff in but I do have an intention of doing some bag work today um, I just can't help myself dude I, I genuinely think one of two things is gonna happen after this bodybuilding competition one of three things actually I'm either gonna do another bodybuilding competition I'm either gonna get ready for a jujitsu competition or I'm gonna get ready for another MMA fight. So it's one of those. I, I definitely have got to get another MMA fight in before 30. Honestly, I would like to get another three in before 30, but I'm 27, so we'll see what the fuck happens. But you never know. I mean, crazy shit like that happens with MMA. <sighs> All right, let me get like two really good, nice controlled sets with these. But yeah, dude, I was watching that Sean Strickland fight last night. He definitely should have won that, by the way. That he was robbed of that, but that's how it goes. You can't leave it to decision. But at the same time, he was the reigning champ, dude. You can't do that. Like, if you're the reigning champ and it's a split decision, I'm sorry, but it does not go to uh, some dude trying to take the championship away. You gotta earn it. You know what I mean? But anyways, I digress. I know it's controversial. But that's my opinion. I had, I had Sean winning the first. He definitely won the first round. Second round was, eh, it could have gone either way. But again, Sean Strickland was the champion, so it doesn't matter. It was too iffy for it to say that it was a Duplessis win for that round. I don't believe that. Uh, I don't believe he earned that. Third round, fourth round, definitely Duplessis started bringing up the heat. Fifth round, 100% Sean, right? 48 47 Sean Strickland. That's the way I see it. That's the way I score it. But, anyways, I remember I was watching it with some buddies and I was, I literally went, I'm super fucking shocked right now. And then uh, Dana White came out and said the exact same thing I said. Is like, I don't think that's the case, but whatever. <sighs> whatever. Good thing I didn't have money on that fight. I think it said, I think Drake, the rapper Drake, had like 700,000 on that fight for Strickland to win. So, at least I didn't do that. <laughs> All right, last set, and then we're gonna do a quick little pose out in the bathroom. If there's not a ton of people in there, I've really gotta start wearing stringers. Okay. Whew. I don't know, I feel like I could definitely probably get some more in, but the pump's about gone. I will say that. Let's go get this pose out in and then uh, I'm gonna get some bag work in. All right, so like I said, I ate a shit ton this weekend, but we gotta see what it's looking like. Otherwise, it's not really a point of doing this vlog, is there? All right. I mean, it could definitely be worse. I definitely look pumped up. I just gotta work on that posture. But yeah, I look, I definitely look pumped up, but I definitely am looking bulkier. That, that's what I need to work on. I need to get those wall slides in. If you guys don't know wall slides, you get against the wall and you squeeze down. And what that helps with, it helps get your chest up. So, it's definitely something I'm trying to get better at. Yeah, the abs are still poking ever so slightly. They're not going away, which is a good sign. It means we are definitely still sitting probably around 13% as far as an in-body goes. 
They're used to just standing like this. It feels almost unnatural, but it's more natural to stand like this than like this. You know what I mean? It's the jujitsu. I'm telling you, it's just the years of me constantly doing this and crunching. It's I'm having to go against that and get that chest up. It just feels super unnatural. I feel wide, super wide, it's those lats. Ugh. Let's check the back from the back. I keep, I always forget to do that. Whew. I really, I thought that pose we did the other day where I went from here. And then you can see me in the mirror. I thought that was cool for the thumbnail. Ugh. Ooh, it takes a lot of concentration. It's mainly the breathing. I need to focus on that freaking vacuum, man. Goodness. Ooh. I need to just really start working on that, even at home, standing in the mirror and just, really what it is, it's keeping your chest up while you're sucking in. That's what's hard. Like you can feel it pulling on these muscles in here and it hurts, like it physically hurts. Like I'll try and do it real quick. Keep my head up. The main thing is to get that arch like that in your back. Ooh. Sorry, your shoulder was looking good. <laughs> That arch and then breathe out. Suck it. Oh, that feels like pulling some muscles apart, but. God, yeah, I'm looking thick. I think I was, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm looking better. I don't know about y'all, but I do feel like I am looking better. So that could be posture, that could be, what I, I, it could be, it could be us filling up glycogen stores. Um, because again, we still don't know if we're technically in a deficit or not. Um, I'm somewhere in between for sure. But because of that, you know, I think that's part of the reason why I kind of had that mentally off day is that uh, if I am in a deficit and I, I'm going every day and I'm not taking any days off and I'm not having cheat meals, what that means is I'm continuously staying in a deficit and I'll actually look more deflated. My muscles won't work, look as pumped up because I won't have as much carbs in the system because I'll be in a deficit. I hope that makes sense. Um, but that's, that's why we have, we're trying to make sure that we're not in that deficit. I need to try and make sure I'm, I am eating a little bit over maintenance, but I really don't want to eat too much over maintenance until we get that first in body done. Cause again, we're still eating like 2000 calories, 2,500 calories more than usual. So, you know, we're just seeing how we adapt to it instead of just jumping right in. Cause we have time, you know? But yeah, we just got to trim a lot of the fat off. I do think that the arms just need to get filled in. This arm looks pretty big actually today. Still need to work on that left arm, but you know, God, this arm does look giant. I think this triceps just giant compared to this one, or maybe it's just the rotation of the shoulder, but still, it's, it's still pretty big. Anyways, I feel like we got enough in as far as the posing goes. Anyways, go. I'm tired. <laughs> Let me uh, go get some cardio done. Maybe get some side stuff done. I kind of want to do a little bit more with the abs. Uh, maybe work on some good mornings like we talked about. We'll see. But 
gonna go get that in, then I'll see you guys in the car. All right, so we're back home. It's been a few hours since we got to the gym. So uh, the only reason we're not doing a car talk is because I ran out of battery, literally in the middle, if I remember correctly, yeah, in the middle of me doing my exiting outro, I, I got like 30 seconds into it and then it, my phone died. So <laughs> uh, we're just doing this at home. I, I'm glad I remembered to go ahead and do this. Um, speaking of which, last little bit of calories for the day. It's about 6.30 right now. You guys keep me accountable. I'm not gonna have anything. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start a timer on my phone. And until that thing says 12 hours, I'm not allowed to eat, okay? Technically by the time I'm ready to eat, it should be like 13 or 14 hours. So, and again, guys, this is just mainly to help the digestion, the inflammation, so I don't feel so bleh, you know? But I figured we would go ahead and chug this shake down. It's two scoops of whey isolate, 16 ounces of milk. Let's go. Whew. Got protein? Ugh. Ugh. I think um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. I, all right, hold on. Let me clean my fucking self. This is disgusting. Let me be real with y'all. It doesn't usually get all over me like that. God, this beard has got to go, bro. Protein shakes are so much worse when you have a beard. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Anyways, good workout today. <laughs> I didn't expect that shit. It got all over me, dude. It clumped up. The clumps got into my fucking hair. That's never happened before. I swear. Anyways, yeah, good workout today. You guys know what I said earlier. Gonna fuck up some arms tomorrow. I'm gonna finish cleaning myself. Because, good God, that was just. Ugh. Anyways, timer's starting now. Not even in frame. Bye bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow.